what level of scripting do you need to know to succeed on OSCP, right? How, how, how good do you have to be at coding? So, in, the, in regards to this question, I would say that it's one of those things where you don't need to be some script wizard, some Python wizard in order to be successful on it, pass it, or anything like that. But I will say, it's one of those things that the more proficiency you have at it, the easier your life becomes, right? You certainly don't need to be like developer level or anything, but time is of the essence on the OSCP. Now, it's, it might be kind of hard to wrap your head around that because you know that you have 24 hours on the exam in order to hack five boxes, and you might feel like that is a lot of time, but the reality is those 24 hours when you factor in eating and sleeping and taking breaks or rabbit holes, certainly. I have a whole series on how to avoid some of those. Check that out if you haven't um, and you're interested. But when you factor in all these things, you really don't have as much time as you originally thought you had. So it becomes a lot more difficult. And anything you can do to save time is going to exponentially increase your chances for success. So the way scripting, coding fits in on this exam is if you're able to automate your recon enumeration, your, I mean, exploits, certainly you, there's a lot of exploits on the OSCP that you need to modify. And if you can't recode at all, then you're not even gonna be able to hack some of these boxes. But I'm really speaking more so to scripting, like a, Basically, if you don't know any scripting at all, it is possible, but you're gonna need to know, you're gonna have to know at least some coding, and it's really not that advanced to, for most of the exploitation. A lot of the exploitation is like, okay, let me change the uh, target IP address. Let me change, let me delete this uh, payload they have here, this, uh, what's it called? The shell code, and let me generate my own shell code something I'll show in a future video, but it's really as simple as that. Let me change the port. And once you change like certain parameters like that, then you're usually good to go. Sometimes it's a little bit more advanced tweaking you need to do, but not, not really too much more than that. So you don't have to know. You'll be editing, yeah, you'll be editing Perl scripts, you'll be editing C code, Python certainly. But really, you don't need to know too much about those languages. Python's gonna be your best friend. Uh, of course, you could do it through Ruby or Perl if you wanted to, but I think Python is by far the dominant in the market as far as what most security people are using nowadays. So honestly, if you're new to this stuff to start, learn some Python, learn how to automate stuff, right? Learn how to take the tasks that you do all the time and write a Python script to do it for you in a few lines of code and, and boom, right? That's gonna go a really long way. So um, one of the ways that, I mean, let me just give you an example, right? How I can automate stuff, right? It, you know, also automating with bash is gonna help a lot too, um, running bash scripts. Let me just give you a quick example of how I utilize these things to make my life easier, right? We'll, we'll start with bash. So with bash scripting, what I did was I want to quickly find like what ports I can start looking at and then in the background, I'll run the longer, more time intensive stuff, right? So the way that I would handle that is I would run an nmap scan on like the top, let's say for example, say top 25 ports or something on all five of those. That will complete really fast. And then um, in order to sift through that output, I'll, I'll use the grippable format and I'll, I'll go through and I'll, I'll use some bash scripting to grep for certain open ports, find what's open, and then quickly just go from there, right? Now, I mean, if you're in the OSCP labs, what you can do is you can look for everything running SMB and you can script through that in bash and do all that. And it's, it's pretty, it saves you a lot of time, right? 
So using the grep command for sure is going to be huge, but yeah, just writing bash scripts to do stuff. If you guys watched one of my really old videos, uh, the reconnoiter tool, that is a, a script that someone wrote in Python. Now you can automate your recon by writing Python or bash or whatever, whatever language you want to use scripts in order to automate a lot of that stuff. So one press of a button, it does all the scanning for you and then you don't have to worry about okay well let's see i ran this short end map now let me run the full and let me run udp and let me you know you don't have to worry about any of that you just you just fire it fire it off and forget it so yeah scripting very useful in the oscp but it's one of those things that like your mileage varies pretty much like you don't have to know you don't have to be a wizard at it but the better you are um, you will be rewarded for that so I would say just learn, just learn it out on, that, on an as needed basis like I talked about in previous videos. That's pretty much the way to go with this. And as you do this more, as you become more familiar with this stuff, you're just gonna be that much more proficient at it. And of course that's gonna pay off for you, certainly on the OSCP, but also on the job because there's been a lot of real world scenarios where I had to you know, say you're, you have a ton of systems and you gotta find out, you know, what has this port or that port open or what version of this is running. Scripts are the way to go. Fire it off and let it do the work. That's what IT and security is all about, right? Is just being efficient rather than, why work hard when you can have the script work hard for you? That's pretty much the idea behind it. But yeah, lazy sysadmin stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the concept behind it. And that's pretty much how I would answer the question of how much scripting do you need for OSCP. So yeah, keep learning guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if there's any comments or questions down in the section below and I will see you as always next time.